What's going on, you got? Oh, my bad. I'm tripping. <laughs> What's going on, you got? Like the world, you got to another one take review. Uh, this is my review of Tokyo Ghoul season three, episode one. Uh, I didn't even, I didn't even know this was coming out. I, I knew it was coming out, but I, I forgot what date because I was a fan of the first Tokyo Ghoul of season one and two. I, I, it's been a while since I watched it though, and I don't read the manga. Uh, I was just a fan. I was a fan, a big fan of the anime. You guys got to forgive me something going on with my arm and this fucking, I don't know if I'm having a stroke or what. But <laughs> hope I'm not going to worry. I'm over the bullshit. Fucking yawn for that shit. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, uh, dog, this was a fucking good ass episode. And, and I didn't realize exactly what was going on. I went back after this episode. I went back and revisited episode 12 and episode, both episode 12 of season one and season two. Just kind of remember, get, get my mind back in the fray. Cause I, cause I, cause I know when I was, I, when I was, uh, when I was watching this episode, I, I was wondering like, doesn't look like Kaneki, right? And they were calling him by his other name, uh, Tisha, Sasaki. I don't know these fucking names. They could just be calling him Jim and Jeff, Jim Jeff or something like that. I don't know. Be the way it go. I was watching, I was like, ah, this is, I don't remember him doing this. And I, I know I read the synopsis or the summary. It's like, it takes place two years later. And, and now we have these things called quinks who are humans with abilities like a, 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 a ghoul, which is fucking dope. Was in, essentially, is what Kaneki is. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, I don't know if Kaneki was ever just a full blown ghoul but these people are there, that's what they that's what they are and we see that he's not the kind of kid we last remember though even even when things starts to happen because they're looking for this guy called torso you know what i'm saying we, we find out that that's what they're looking for and they end up finding the one uh kind of get subordinates end up finding them and they have a big scuffle and they're they, they i feel like they was going to take him down the other two guys they feel, i feel like yeah they was going to take them down but then this other dude comes, and I can't quite remember his name, but he's like S class. So and they and he fucking breathes right over them. <clears throat> so of course Kaneki comes in to save the day, and he's like, "Yeah, you don't seem like the rest of them. You know, something's different about you." And then him and Kaneki are about to have this big thing, and Kaneki his stat and episode goes on. I was like, "Son of a!" I was like completely in tune with it and I, I did the I did the dub today. I did the dub. Real fact <laughs> I watched like half of the sub but the uh the video kept buffering and I'm like, man fuck this. I'm gonna go watch the dub. And I wouldn't watch the dub and the dub play straight through. And I know some people are like, uh you gotta watch sub listen, listen motherfucker. No matter how much y'all watch sub, y'all still ain't from Japan. All right? Fuck. I'm like, I got that nervous about this shit, bro. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Some people just think just because they watch subs more than they watch dub that they so much more in tune with anime than other people. I was going to actually do a video about that, but that's not what this is about. It's about this, uh, I, like, I needed something because Dragon Ball Super's gone. And uh, I, I still have Black Clover, but I know My Hero Academia comes back s Saturday, which I'm stoked about. But I, this is. Along with this, that'll be good. That's something that's that's good that I hold me over for a while. And like this first episode really got me. Uh, I see that uh, Kaneki is now working with the uh, CCG, and 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 you see how far how long that lasts. But uh, it was overall pretty good. It was a good way to get way, good way to get back into things. This has been a while since we've seen it. My bad had a little had the had a little situation. But um you guys have you guys watched it? Like, what you think? I mean I don't think you'd be watching the review if you haven't watched the episode. So how big a Tokyo Ghoul fans are you and if you're reading the manga like I know some people kept reading the manga after the show ended. I I was I got into it after the show and that's why I started watching. It. You know what I'm saying? I, and this is like Attack on Titan. I don't read the Attack on Titan manga. Cause I like when the show comes out. Or one person, I really don't like read. Only only manga that I read that's ahead of like the anime is Hunter X Hunter. And that's simply because 
there's no more shortcoming right now uh and one piece other than that i, I just wait on i just wait on the show to come back but uh yeah let me know what you guys thought about the first episode of season three of tokyo ghoul comment down below with your thoughts and opinions and with anything else you might have to say you know to any any just compliments you might have or in the negative see i'm like everything's working you know what i'm saying just traction traction is good always good like share whatever do 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 what you want to do i can't make you do nothing just do what you want to do